bottom of the creek there and stuff. It's down, down there somewhere. Um, I can see it, but I don't think you can. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, oh, so I've got to, uh, got to find a new spot to camp. There are no trees there, so. Um, so I've got to find some trees. And all this stuff is slate. You can see all these slate rocks back here. And right there where it's breaking off. Over the years it just sort of chips away and falls out into the old road bed here. So <clears throat> but you can see the trees over there. Talk about isolated. This is even though their house is not too far. Uh, it's hard to get to and it's just like, uh, just like it was 500 years ago, except for the garbage that people drop. Uh, probably just like this one, the Indians were here, except there was no roadway. And yeah, there's more of that slate. Just kind of chips off and falls and all this. So. So we're gonna walk down to the lake here. Sorry about the shaking, but uh, you know, I'm 63. And uh, geez, if you don't shake at 63, you're real lucky. I shake even thinking about it. I don't, I'm not sure what. Should have kept walking here to get going. Oh, I don't, want you, I don't want you to miss the poison ivy as if you hadn't seen enough already. It's everywhere. It's all around me. Oh. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Okay. Well, so much time I've got. Yes, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to know. God. I can't see. I didn't bring my other glasses. Oh, we're getting down closer to the lake now. Right down here. Now, find somewhere where I don't have to stand right in the middle of poison ivy. And you know what? That place doesn't exist. Okay, let's uh, let me flip this around. Okay, down there. That uh, usually the lake is. You can see the gravel and stuff. Usually that's covered with water. All of that's covered with water. But, um, I don't know, we haven't really, even though we had a bunch of rain last week, generally we haven't had much rain. And uh, the lake's really low. A few years ago, I think it was like, uh, whew, I don't know. Maybe eight years ago, the uh, uh, you could actually walk across to the other side because there was no water. Uh, that was a big drought year. But as you can see right here, uh, you can go down this way, but there's no reason to. It's uh, it's pretty pretty good slope and. It's not going to get you anywhere any faster, I don't think. Now, if, if I was going where I was going to go, which is over there, it would be quicker, but the way it looks now, I don't see much water, so let's go see. It's a big lake, too. It's not a tiny little lake. Uh, it's considered small here, but in reality, it goes for miles and miles and miles and miles. So... I know it goes all the way to Manchester, and Manchester's 12 miles, so it's at least 12 miles long. Strangely enough, when they were building this, I lived in Manchester and lived way out in the country on a farm, my wife and I, and uh, 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 they were 
actually doing uh, some uh, some work. They were digging out parts of the lake, and they brought the archaeologist in to uh, to kind of evaluate everything. And it it was put off for a little while because it was uh, it was a rather important, you know, archaeological site. But it's underwater, so like the government says, screw it. Uh, anyway, then we moved over here after moving to Hartsville for two years. And strangely enough, we ended up all the way at the other end of the lake. You can't get any further apart than the two places that we were. So. But I've been coming down here for 35 years. And uh, there's my neighbor's boat. They, I guess they moved that down here. It used to be up on the top of the hill. And uh, let's see if anybody's been down here. I can't believe I didn't even bring water. I forgot my water. Dumbass. Golly. I'm not really stupid. It's just, I guess maybe I'm a little slow. Oh, well. <clears throat> Right over there is where I was going to camp, right on that little open area. So as you can see, somebody's already built a little little thing over there, a little fire pit, covered by rocks and stuff. And ah, this thing's giving me problems. Oh, all right. We'll get it right here. And... figure out how we can get this thing back up now. I didn't bring my big one because I didn't want to have to. It was real heavy. So anyway, there we go. I'll give you a little look at the lake. Uh, anyway, beautiful lake out of here. But uh, yeah, it's been eight or, t eight or nine years ago. It was... Um, you can see water in the distance, but all this water you see here, all the water to the left that I haven't shown you, it was gone. And uh, thank goodness that it's better now, even though the lake's down, I think, six feet right now. Uh, I believe that's what they said, five or six feet. So this was, for a long time, right where I'm standing, was underwater. And it, for a good bit of the time that we were we've lived here, that's been the case, but I don't know, they let more water out at the dam for some reason. Anyway, I think what we'll do, uh, you know, there's no, oh, there's another boat right there, there's two boats here, okay, gotcha, my other neighbor, there it is. As you can see right here, I don't think there's a good spot to uh, put a tarp. There may be a couple around this bend here, but uh, I don't want to camp over there. So this is where I want to camp. All right, let's walk over there real quick and see what we've got. And I can't stay too long because it gets dark here much earlier than it, it does on top of the hill. And I have to be careful on these rocks because uh, you can see, it's just boulder after boulder after boulder. And I'm not, not too excited about walking through the mud. So I think I'll go around. Somebody's been walking here. But that's not a human. That is not human. So I don't know. Oh, that's, that looks like a dog there. That looks like a dog. Down here having fun. Somebody's put some boulders here. Saved me the, the walk up there so I don't so I have to walk around the mud. Okay. Let's see if we can get through here without falling in the mud. Alright. Well, this is an old fire pit here. I've, I've seen this uh, several times. Uh, doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. So, it's funny how some of these rocks are, see this one is nice and like it had been 
like it come from the smoke is all nice and uh, smooth. And then we're gonna walk over here for a minute. Believe me, I don't have a clue how much time I've got left on this. I don't guess it makes any difference. You know what, the, the way up is just the same as the way down. Little pieces of junk. People have left. Okay. Now, actually, I was going to come over here and then put my, put my tent right in here, I think, and then get this fire pit here that somebody has set up and hasn't hasn't even lit yet. There's just a little tiny pile of wood and things already here, but we're not going to do that. There's where it just came from. And the lake goes on up that way. I don't know. A quarter mile and Avoca Lake empties into here. So Avoca Lake's really small. Just, I don't know, maybe 75 acres. Not very big. And that goes on around a long way. Very long way. So anyway, I'm thinking I'm going to have to... Yeah, I can build a mimosa tree right there. Big mimosa. And there's another one. And another. And another one. It's amazing. Oh. Okay, sorry, I'm just getting so excited about it. Uh, anyway, we'll walk this way a little, and I'm going to look for somewhere to, maybe where I could, uh, where I could put a hammock. But you can see, I'm going to walk up there. Well, this stuff is, is dense. No path, no nothing. See right there? I mean, it's like that all through here. It's just a mass of uh, shrubbery, small trees. Things that you just don't want to have to march through. And like... Uh, I'm kind of like Alan H60. Uh, he's got a great, he does some fun little movies. Um, I don't care for for ticks and, and chiggers. My God, ticks are bad enough, but chiggers, well, you can die from ticks, but chiggers just make you wish you were dead. Oh my God, they last forever, it seems like. And I used to think uh, it was because they bit you. But they don't. They excrete some kind of juice. Somehow breaks down a lot top layer of your skin, and that's why it itches so badly. But anyway, right here, I just happened to spot these blackberries. Not many are ripe. Just a few, and there are not many on here. I'm thinking the bad weather kind of screwed it up. Ah, oh, a couple of bugs having sex. Those are. Uh, Japanese beetles, I think. Uh, and they suck too. Alright, let's... Grab a couple of those. See how they taste. Mmm, boy. It just doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't. Those are just wonderful. We're getting one more. Beautiful little things. And, oh my gosh, there are lots of them up there. And uh, our little friend, the spider, he's, I don't know, he's just hanging around, I guess. There. Boy, those blackberries are, I just can't tell you how good they are. They are just really sweet. A lot of times you get them when they're just before they're ripe and they're a little bit tart. Oh, there's some back there. Darn it. Well, 
don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking blackberries and snakes. They kind of go together. And actually, I'm down at the bottom of the hill now where the lake is. I live on top of the hill. And before we moved here, strangely enough, it was called Rattlesnake Hill. I'll let you figure that one out. I don't think I have to tell you. Anyway. Ooh, there's one. Whoa. Nice little one. Nice little blackberry. Blackberry and mouse. I mean, if you were lost out here and you had blackberries all the time, you always have a little treat. Well, let's walk down here. But, uh, you know, actually, let me look over here. Oh, there's another one. I'm grabbing it before anybody else does. Uh, there's so many people around here, so you can see them hiding in the bushes. Getting ready to come over and steal my blackberries. Uh, but... I would say right there might be okay, except that that tree, big tree, has a bumper crop of poison ivy. And I'm going to avoid that at all, at all costs. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Ooh, lucky me. I'll get that tomorrow too nothing to carry them in since I left everything I was going to bring down at home except the camera. Yeah, that's something about getting a hold of. Hmm. Don't remember what you have for breakfast. See, there's one. Yummy, yummy. One more. Whoops. I broke it. Mm, my goodness. Too good. Just too good. Alright, let's keep walking. A neighbor of mine told me that up here somewhere, eh, I can I can talk and eat at the same time. I see a couple of blackberries. And I don't see any snakes. Uh but uh um yummy. They said there's a little area to camp up here. And as long as I've lived here, oh geez, look at that one there. It's around some nasty stuff. Oh wait, that's not poison ivy, that's another. It's actually a tree. It just looks like poison ivy. Okay, let's grab that one. Ooh, look over there. A bunch of nice ones right there. I didn't bring my other glasses either. There they are. See the little, oh, look at that. Could you munch on that or what? Wow. Beautiful. Anyway. Maybe I'll get that tomorrow. Oh, oh. I gotta get this one. I don't know. Okay, there's poison ivy down there. There's none right where that is, so and I don't see a snake here, so let's let's grab the three nice ones right here. Oh boy, four. Oh this is like it's like hitting the lottery. Of course I'd rather hit the lottery, but uh, we just have to kind of temper our, our desires. So oh look great, some of these. Drop the baggie there. Exception. I'll get that tomorrow too. Uh, okay, we're walking around here a ways. And I don't know.